Hi, uh, we just got a little more information today, and uh, we're going to introduce you now to a, a list of characters, and uh, they're all real. Also, uh, this is going to entail some missing women that have been missing for years, and uh, one of them is uh, Carissi, Maria Sol Carissi, that's Tyrone Powers' granddaughter. And the mother and father are in uh, Italy. They're singers. They're really good. They're entertainers. They're really good, too. Anyway, she uh, vanished uh, in the 90s. And uh, Tammy Lynn Lepet, L-E-P-P-E-R-T, she vanished in 83. But the way they vanished is going to astound you. Uh, they both had the same, very exact same circumstances and possibly the same people. We're going to introduce you how we think they, where they went and what they did. We're also going to introduce you to Madame Alex. That's the one back there, the older gal uh, that the camera's on right now. Madame Alex, that's Elizabeth Adams, she worked uh, with the LAPD for a long time. She was an informant with them and the three-letter people also. She had a lot of pull. And she had a third husband, by the way, just incidentally, that was from Persia. And she was shut down in 88. And I think uh, we can tell you who shut her down. There'll be uh, a third and a fourth person involved in this that's set in the background. After that, uh, you've heard of Nagy, the one that uh, Heidi Fleiss, uh, her boyfriend, supposedly sold her to uh, Madame Alex for... Uh, 500 or 400, the the amounts vary quite a bit. But anyway, uh, we've got some pictures of him too we'd like to show you. But uh, <clears throat> Heidi Fleiss took over after uh, uh, Alex got busted. Elizabeth Adams was a real name. And she uh, did some real nasty stuff. They, they used to send women over to Saudi Arabia. And uh, we think that uh, she changed their names had them tell a big story that they were scared, then they'd change their name, uh, she'd give them some money, they would vanish and be sent over to the Saudi, area, uh, Saudi Arabia uh, to the customers. And we think that several of them, and there's documentation besides what I'm telling you too, uh, that they actually went over there, they never returned. And, of course, you know the Middle East is famous for that. They've been uh, robbing Africa for years. They were the original slave sex traders. But anyway, it's kind of uh, really, really interesting. But this woman, Madame uh, Alex or Elizabeth Adams, she, she did this for years. Uh, she lived behind the Beverly Hills Hotel, by the way, in the 70s. It was a two-bedroom place right behind it. And in 73, she got a plea, bar a plea bargain, and that's how she operated so long and so well. She helped ca ca catch a lot of nasty people, a lot of nasty people. She started doing business in 78 with the Arabs. And uh, over a period of time, her and people that we're not going to name right now until later on, uh, we believe, we believe that uh, several of her girls disappeared over there. And I think uh, we can even... Uh, pretty well point you in that direction and prove them. We're going to name the girls. We're going to name uh, uh, Elizabeth Adams and tell you a lot more about her. About You know, she had one son die of AIDS, by the way. And, uh, by the way, here's another picture. We are not sure who this is, but uh, we're going to be showing you a lot of pictures of him later on. And we're sending some pictures to a museum right now and some uh, specialists to find out who these people are. There's some people that know. Anyway, that's the first character. The next characters are going to be uh, Angela Ames, and another unknown woman, and that Tammy Lynn LaPette, and uh, there'll be others also. Uh, Walter B. Bombowski, he was uh, arrested for selling seven children, by the way. And he was uh, part of this nice crew, too, as I understand it. But anyway, uh, this is going to get interesting. Uh, when we start picturing, uh, putting pictures up there of these here girls that, that are missing, uh, we would appreciate you helping us send it around to people 
see if we can get a big shirt about maybe we can find out what happened to these uh, young ladies. Thank you very much.